All right, so this is uh, chapter 60. This is the start of chapter 60, Pimp C's Sweet Jones, Pimp C's Chill Life Story. Pimp C's Passy, incorrectly reported by many media outlets as a codeine overdose, would become in... What the fuck is that? That's not... Oh, you can't do that to me, bro. That ain't, that's not even a word. Inexcripably, which is fucking stupid. I would do indescribably in that situation. Or unacceptably, maybe. Linked to other coding-related deaths like DJ Screw and Big Mo. Somehow, it only made the drug scene more alluring to a whole new generation of syrup sippers. Some people didn't believe that codeine had actually killed Pimp C and DJ Screw because it did seem like everyone was sipping it. I can't say that Pimp C and DJ Screw were no, long, were no more addicted than anyone else ponders Lil Kiki. The whole culture, it was all about how much you consume. Some have been sipping it for so long they practically felt invincible. When you have been drinking some shit for like 20 years and ain't shit happened to you yet, you really ain't thinking about the dangers, says Zero. I sip more than pimp, to be honest with you. That's why I'm so skeptical, I'm so skeptical when people say drank killed them, adds SU, or, uh, yeah, SUC rapper Lil O. S shout out Screwed Up Click, by the way. You know what I'm saying? Original drink sippers, original swangers. Um, hearing someone dying of, because of a codeine overdose is very uncommon. I've been in these streets since I was 15, and the only people I've ever heard of dying from drink are rappers. You know what they say about young, the young lion, as big Mike? The young lion don't fear nothing, you know what I mean? The young lion thinks he's invincible. The man who once smoked fry uh, with Pimp C is now clean and sober and avoids glorifying drugs in his music. Kids are just doing it be because everyone else does it, Big Mike adds. The way they pour it up in their soda is very deceptive. Cough syrup abuse uh, became so widespread about, uh, that the Na Na Office of National Drug Control Policy ran a PSA during the 2008 Super Bowl a few months after Pimp C's death, RIP Pimp C, by the way, which depicted a street drug dealer complaining that all his good clients had started getting high off of substances from the medicine cabinet instead. Seems like half of my customers don't need me anymore, he complained. They're getting high for free. Actually, everybody was, wasn't doing it. Most of the OGs who had once glorified the drug in their music, like Bun and DJ Paul 36 Mafia, had long given it up. The shit fucked with my stomach, Bun told Rhapsody.com. He never considered himself a serious rapper, only going through about four ounces a month. I mean, a serious sipper, excuse me, only going through uh, about four ounces a month. But in the summer of 2007, he'd given it up for good. He had still had vices, weed and liquor, but he was trying to leave his immature habits in the past and deal with reality, quote, um, rather than use drugs to escape from it. At the time of Pimp's death, Bun had already recorded a song for Two Trill, which included a verse about Sibylline, but decided it would be in poor taste, quoted, and scrapped the verse. While it wasn't solely the cause of his death, we have to be very real about the consequences of some of these things, he told my, my Fox Houston during a television interview. Thoughts on what you just read? Um, it's exactly what it's, what, I mean, I, I mean, I agree a thousand percent with everything I just read, pretty much for the most part, except the one excerpt about he hasn't seen anyone die from it. Like, yeah, they die from it. It can definitely cause a, over, you know, he said he's been in these streets for 15, it happens, you know what I'm saying? Um, and it might be a mixture of, of a lot of things. We've had several rappers that have passed, unfortunately, ASAP Yams. Rest in peace, ASAP Yams, you know what I'm saying? He was a sipper for sure, but that's, did that solely kill him? We don't know. You don't know what it was like. So it's like, there's a many, there's a lot of things that, you know, rest in, pe pimp, rest in peace, Pimp C, excuse me, rest in peace, Pimp C, you know what I'm saying, rest in peace, ASAP, you know, rest in peace, uh, you know, DJ Screw, rest in peace, a lot of, a whole lot of people, and it's like, you know, it's, it's, I don't know, I, I never did it f for a fad or because I heard it on Dirty Sprite too, and I, I mean, the word purple is tattooed on my neck somewhere, I was, I drank that shit I, a long time ago, I'm not proud of it, and I don't like doing it, but it's like, it's just not cool, you know? It's not, I mean, I, I agree with everything in that page pretty much except for, like, what I told you because it will kill you, man. That's that's drinking, a, but that's a lot of codeine. It's going to lock your stomach up, it, you know, if you especially if you drink alcohol with it, man, you're, it's not good. It's definitely not good. It can heart, stop your heart in a minute. No. Do you still partake? Um, um yeah. <laughs> I do on my, I do. 
but I'm weeding it out of my system. It's like it's like uh, I used to have excuses for it. Like, oh well, since it's after like eight o'clock now, I can have a cup. I went all day. I'm cool. I can I can sip something. And then I cut that out. Now it's just a weekend. It's like today's Sunday. It's my last. Day. I had a cup early until I spilled it on the fucking floor, which I just wanted to punch myself in the face for, because that's an expensive leak. Anyway, um, you know, tomorrow Monday I'm not gonna have anything. Tuesday I'm not gonna have anything. Wednesday I'm not gonna have anything. Tuesday, but like maybe when Friday, Saturday night come around, I'm, I'm gonna pour up a cup. So it's like it went from every night to now it's a weekend. And then you know you you weed out your system. You gotta do. It. You just never quit cold turkey. That's the worst thing in the world. Gotta get out of your system. Hearing stuff like you know this Pimp C page and knowing the dangers of it, yeah. does it scare you? No, I do. I use it in moderation. I don't. I never pour heavy like that. Like I would rather pour light and enjoy myself and have a nice a nice time than, than to be black out. No, I'm cool. I don't pour heavy. I know my. I know my. I know. How, I know the word moderation, what it means, and how to use it. And I know. So I have self control. So it doesn't scare me. It scares the people that do it and don't have self control. But you, um, and it scares me the amount of fake lean, you know, a lot of fake lean. They have this thing called Activisa, which is supposed to be Mexican lean, and it's like Prometazina Concordina, which is really bullshit. Activisa, Google it. I mean, just use Google, y'all. Like, you know, they're saying Watson makes. No, they fucking don't. Watson does not make a syrup. Did Watson buy out Activist? Yes. They don't make a shirt, Watson. They don't do it. You show me it. Show it to me. With not, not a printed out label from like they're doing. Like, you know, show it to me. Whatever. But, man, I don't, by the way, no, I don't need any plugs on lean. I don't need any of that shit. I'm cool. Thank you in advance. <laughs> but you are, you said you were weeding it out. So eventually you will be quitting drinking. Mm -hmm. Sipping. I mean, maybe, but it might be. I might be somewhere with someone that, like, hey, you want me to pour you a cup? And as long as I know how to drink clean, why not? Sure, pour me up something. And, you know, it's not like, it's not, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's whatever to me. I, I don't I don't feel like, I feel like I've had my problems with it, and, I, and that was because I didn't know what moderation was. And when I learned tolerance as a moderation and, and learned how to deal with myself, it was, it's okay. You can, you can, you can actually do things recreationally, believe it or not, so...